Welcome back to another episode of Tech I Want. I'm Daniel. And I'm Rafi. And today we're looking at the crowdfunding campaign page for the world's most powerful and toughest cable. No name. That's, that is the name of the product, right? Yeah, the description, I guess. It, it, I guess when you're just a USB cable, you don't need a name. Just, it's just USB cable. Although it has something written on it. I guess the brand, the brand is Horizon. And they've created quite a few campaigns before, all of them in this USB cable realm. Yeah. But this new one is the Thunderbolt 4 cable. It's the next step. Um, you want to watch a video? Yeah, let's do it. See what they have to say about themselves. The new MacBook Pro has arrived with a blazing fast M1 Next chip and three Thunderbolt 4 ports. What is Thunderbolt 4? Let me introduce. That's a robot, right? I think so, but why is it a robot that with a speech impediment? I don't understand. <laughs> How did they program that? He keeps saying Thunderbolt, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't get. They could have picked a properly like American sounding robot now for that. But what do you think's happening there? Why is it doing that? I is think someone just... typing it in and they're it's typing Thunderboat? <laughs> no, no, they gave it an accent. They they chose They chose accents? Yeah, yeah. What 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 was the description <laughs> of that accent? I don't know. Ask accent Google. number yeah, one yeah. or is it a specific race or just like I'm gonna go with man accent who number has one. Half tongue, you know, like <laughs> Oh, but on it, Halo Band, I guess that's what it's called. But they didn't go with that because I guess they thought nobody's going to know what that means. World's toughest, most powerful USB cable. Yeah, although I guess with this robot's voice, they probably just couldn't say Halo Band. Halo it, Band. It would have been Halo Band. This <laughs> <laughs> Halo Band Super Cable. Super Cable. It is a two meter long cable with few features of Thunderbolt 4 standard. With few features? I don't know what this guy's saying. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think we need to know. It's a I, USB cable. It's a USB cable, right? That's all it is. There's nothing. I mean, they, of course, there's tons of high tech stuff. They're using really premium quality stuff, but they're over. In my opinion, they're overselling it. But I like this very simple, old school web, old web presentation format. Yeah. Looks like a PowerPoint slide. And backward compatible with USB four, Thunderbolt three, USB C, etc. <laughs> Etc. And said in the same kind of tone as the rest. Data transfer speed. By the way, that's not guaranteed, right? That forty gigabytes that's transfer up speed. That's up to. Up to, right? Yeah, that's yeah. at at, the, at its peak performance, which I'm guessing is rarely ever achieved. But that's also it's not a stat for the cable. It's a stat for Thunderbolt four. Right. Like the specifications. All Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah. Thund Thunderbolt. Now I'm saying <laughs> it now too. It's Thunderbolts. <laughs> Thunderbolt four. What? I feel like that'd be a pretty cool boat if there was a cruise on the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 4, yeah. <laughs> I'd definitely take it. I was thinking with Thunderbolt could have been like maybe <laughs> Thor's boat, you know, like the Greek god or no, Norse god. He's going god. through the sky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or it sounds like it sounds like, like uh, one of those bayou kind of hovercrafts, the ones that kind of float with the fan behind uh -huh. it. That would be a Thunderbolt. <laughs> thunderbolt. <sighs> every, I feel like every time I say it, there should be a crack of lightning mm -hmm. and thunder <laughs> in the distance. You need to wear one of those sailor hats as well. Yeah. It only takes five seconds to transfer 10 GB of Screen data. record, we could have done this. Faster than ever. Again, so that's the specification. Of and all I Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4. Of all Thunderbolt 4s. Yeah. yeah, and I can remember a few years ago, I was working on this. Um, I was helping these guys out with their campaign. Uh -huh. And this idea of like the jump to Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 and USB-C. And it, it's so confusing. There's so many different specifications going on there. Thunderbolt 4 is the same shape as USB-C. Uh -huh. It also does USB 4, and it's also Thunderbolt 4. And each of these are specifications that they kind of build one on top of the other yeah. to end up with the 40 gigabyte per second speeds. But they're all the same. They look the same. If you look at it, you'll be like, ah, oh, this is right. USB-C. The interface is the same. The, the connecting part is mm -hmm. the same, right? But then it's got technology built inside of it that just optimizes and keeps expanding upon the original form factor, yeah. which is just makes it a little bit faster. Okay, makes sense. Kind of. Extra charging. Up to 100 watt power delivery and laptop charging. Short cables are not <laughs> easy to use. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he just thinks that this guy's like, if I keep pulling it, it's eventually going to get, get longer, longer. You know, like it's a stretch With every cable. pull, it's like a two millimeter as is added. Or what was he trying to do there? Yeah. Just unplug it? Ours is 
two meters long. Connect your laptop. You Never like short driving. cables or long cables? <laughs> the, this guy is really <laughs> proud of his long cable. Ours is two meters yeah. long. And you can sit over here with your laptop and look at your second screen over there, yeah. way, way over there. You know, I, I like shorter cables, but I think that one of the things that this cable addresses, and I, and I do like that, is that it, it, the quality, the, the cable itself is a really high quality that it, it says that it doesn't tangle. This is the kind of cable that mm. always just kind of stays a little bit. I think it's just going to stay straight. <laughs> it's not even going to coil. It's yeah. not going to tangle. It's not going to coil. It's just, just like this. rigid straight, yeah, yeah. you're thinking, yeah? Constantly erect like this. <laughs> Like those, like power lines. Have you ever seen power lines on the floor and they're these thick cables? No. No? Power lines on the floor? Like during a, like a lightning storm or something? <laughs> no, before they build them, before they put them up? No. No? They're big, thick cables and I, you can't coil them. The coil is like the radius is two meters, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I've so seen cables the that they here. put underground, like uh -huh. a big, it's spooled on those wooden spools like this. That's what this is. <laughs> like a giraffe. Like a giraffe. <laughs> I love this. That is the weirdest yeah, thing yeah. I've ever heard. Why? <laughs> Who made that comparison? It's all pretty serious until all of a sudden in the, in the a, a third it through glitches. the video. Yeah. So you want a USB cable like a giraffe. Two meters long. Connect your laptop to the monitor easily. Like a giraffe, it leaves gracefully. Like a giraffe. 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 Like a giraffe, <laughs> eating leaves gracefully. <laughs> By the way, I don't think anyone has ever, I mean, I don't know. When I see a giraffe eating leaves, I don't think of how graceful, graceful that is. animal is, you know? What, standing how on these like stilts like, of legs, you yeah. know? It's, how awkward that animal is, not, not graceful. <laughs> but anyway. Especially in this glitchy photo. In the sports, dual 4K displays or one 8K display. High volume data capability makes they the, got the party going here, yeah? ideal for content creators. It supports PCIe 32 gigabytes per second. This means that the cable can be used to connect to many jobs. Have you noticed this is like one of the longest videos <laughs> we've seen so far? Dude, this is what I'm saying. Like they're it is a USB cable. Yeah, a yeah. USB cable. I would like it. I, I would appreciate it and actually probably trust it a little bit more if it was just simple. Just saying this is a USB cable. You've seen it before. It's you awesome. know what it is. Yeah. This one's just better. Yeah. This is over, this this almost feels to me like they're overcompensating for something that that's wrong, you know, like uh, two meter only two meters, you know, <laughs> like uh, they, they're trying to make it sound much greater than it actually is. I'm sure it's a perfectly fine product, but the idea that they have to overcomplicate it by putting layer upon layer upon layer of benefits, yeah, it just feels really strange. And again, they're not really selling the cable itself, their yeah. cable. They're selling the Thunderbolt Four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these things are basically just standard Thunderbolt Four stats. I'm interested in why is it the most tough one? Probably because it's like angry like a bat, you know? Like they're going to come up with some kind of weird uh, <laughs> analogy. <laughs> it's like you can plug it into your phone. You can plug it into your laptop. You can plug it into games. Damn. Relax after work. Support for dogs. They should have just like had the rest of the video with that guy playing video games. You can even use it to turn your iPad mini seats go off the into screen? a board board. Oh, no. You can even use it to turn your iPad mini seats into a desktop workstation. I don't think this is a robot, by the way. No? No. It can connect all USB C devices. Such powerful performance. <laughs> it connects into cooling. everything. Look at how it connects. <laughs> It doesn't make sense to just It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. No, nothing about this video has made sense at all. <laughs> Optimized the okay, here you go. Yeah. This is what stands out about this cable. They have a little bit of metal around it. Yeah. I like this as well. Yeah. Just showing that it's 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 well manufactured. I like that. Why that? I don't know. <laughs> Who is cutting their cables like? Oh, I see. Just to show us what it looks like inside, he cut it. Yeah. I thought he was going to show us that it can't be cut. Yeah, exactly. This, me too. But then and he so, just, <laughs> just snipped it right in half. Here's showing that there's a Kevlar cable inside it. Yeah. But it didn't make a difference because it still got cut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kevlar, it's un uncuttable, cuttable, <laughs> as he cuts it. Which is the material of the bulletproof. Nothing. Five times the strength of steel. And durable grading. All this makes it extremely... I love this. <laughs> You can even use it to pull a car. You stupid. Why? <laughs> Here you go. This stands out about that cable. Can yes. your USB cable pull a car? Yeah. One Would of the you ever want to? You'll never need, you know? 
<laughs> your car broke down, you don't have anything, but you have your USB cable. Yep. Don't worry, you can pull it to the next gas station. How do we know that that guy's really pulling it with that cable? Though? Yeah, maybe you there's know, a really short the guy comments. sitting inside. <laughs> there's gonna be a bunch of angry people asking, show us proof in real video. <laughs> Damage at all. I think we should be more impressed with this kid who's pulling the car. This is the most powerful and toughest cable in the world. Now, it is a real cable for everything. It is a real cable. We're not making this up. <laughs> work, travel, and even Mars exploration. That's the that's the pinnacle of this video. Exactly. This dude in space going, what? What? WTF, dude. He's a, he's a, he's asking himself, what did that guy just say? Yeah, I'm not gonna be using your We're cable in space. <laughs> yeah. Nice. nice. I like that Photoshop <laughs> right there. Confident in our products, and we provide lifetime warranty for all backers. One more thing, Super Cable has a very nice leather cable tie for you to organize and oh, oh, This is so hideous. Yeah. No. I don't know. I think it's cool. I mean. Like they could have gone with black or yeah. like something fitting with the design. It's just something we had laying around. <laughs> You'll get one of those too. Cool. Okay, so that was the, the, that was a huge, lot. That, the extremely long 33 minutes and 30 second video about a USB cable. We'll be back next week. See yeah. you guys. Uh, but uh, evidently, uh, we're not the only ones who think it's a cool cable. Uh, there's, they've, they've exceeded their goal of $10,000 um, by three times. And the campaign is actually one of the longest campaign pages I've seen in a long time. Again, it's a USB cable. Mm -hmm. I get it. it I, I personally think it's great. And when you look at the price, how much is it? I think it's like 39 bucks. Right? Yeah. 30 bucks. Was it 39 or 30? 39. Ah, yes. $39. If I go onto Amazon and I see that most USB-C cables or USB-4 cables, it's about $30. Right? So this is a little bit more expensive, yeah. but you get the added durability. Yes. And the, the and really speak. cool leather band that I kind of all put it all together. Yeah, the cable tie. Yeah. So it's not it's not a big jump in price. Um, I, I think it's affordable. I, I do like the idea of this cable, especially the fact that it's like high quality and it doesn't get tangled. I think that's the number one thing. Everything, every cable I own is tangled. Even now, like for a few years, I haven't had a cable. Uh, I haven't had a tangled, tangled cable? cable problem. Really? I mean, that was like a tongue twister. That my, my headphones in my pocket right now are, are tangled. Every yeah. time I pull it out of my pocket, it's going to be, I have to, it takes at least two minutes to untangle it. So if they come up with their next product, the untangleable headphones. Untangleable. So it's always <laughs> tangled. Once it gets tangled, it's never going to untangle again. <laughs> no, no, it's un untangleable. It doesn't tangle. Oh, okay. The... Uh, untangled. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, mo this campaign page is long. And it is, again, because they're going into the entire specifications of Thunderbolt 4, USB-C. It's not the cable itself. The cable itself, it's a tough cable. Yeah. We're built in this connector that won't bend, that won't twist. Yeah. It has t Kevlar in it. Those are the main features of this product. The rest is all Thunderbolt 4, which I guess is new as well. You know, there aren't that many Thunderbolt 4 cables out there. USB 4, it's all kind of new. It's totally, I didn't know that USB 4 existed, to be <laughs> t completely honest, until I saw this video. And then I saw the, the, the transfer rates, and I was like, whoa, dang, is that, is that unique to this product? And no, it's just a typical of a USB 4 cable. But they say 40 gigabytes per, gigabits per second, uh -huh. which doesn't translate. That's not 40 gigabytes per second. Right. It's around... Two, two and a half thousand, I think. Two and a half thousand bytes? Gigabytes? Gigabytes. Okay. Which is still pretty fast. Sounds like a lot. Like you can transfer over a movie in uh -huh. a second. But and, and that's just typical of the of the of the Thunderbolt technology. 4. Yes. But at the same time, it's a it's much wanted because it's what, at least two times faster than the the technology below it. Mm-hmm. Right? USB 4, I, I don't know like if there is anything out there that is just USB 4. I feel like USB 4 was skipped. Yeah. You know, they had USB C 3.2. That's what we're currently using now. And then they kind of leapfrogged USB 4, and now we're at Thunderbolt 4, which is double the speed of USB C. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really don't know <laughs> what we're going to talk about now because it is just a USB cable. It's cool though. I, I like it. One of the questions, if we go into the campaign, it's from the Team Horizon, mm -hmm. which is based in San Francisco. 
You wouldn't guess it by the video and the voice. You wouldn't. Um, also in Shenzhen, which I'm sure I'm saying incorrectly, and Osaka. So you're a little bit of everywhere, huh? Yeah. And it's run by Chuck Lu. Is he the founder of Horizon? There's a lot of guys with uh, English sounding or West, very Western first names and then very short Asian sounding last names out there. My uncle's name is Fred, but it's not Fred. I don't know how he chose it. Like he's got a very ethnic name, you know. Like and uh, he, when he moved over to America, it be, he became Fred. So I can imagine there's a lot of that going yeah. on over here. I wonder Chucks if that's... and Johns. <laughs> we go. We're dipping into racist realm again. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if there is a book where it's just like the book of names yeah. that you get to pick when you land in America. But what I love is that they're oftentimes very kind of obscure or dated names. Yeah, names yeah. that are not so common in people's. Well, I guess uh, that book was Rolodex printed anymore. like 40 years ago. You yeah, know, and probably. they're still using. <laughs> Using that book, Bertrand. Is that a name? Yeah, oh, wow. Bertrand Russell. I don't know if there are any Chinese people with that name. But um, yeah, they're experts in USB cables from what it seems like. They've been producing them for a few years now. Yeah. And they're always going for this tough, fast cable, whatever it is. USB 4 was their previous campaign. Then they had better just A cables, USB C cables. Now, I didn't go into any of their previous campaigns. Do you, know, do you know anything about it? Have they been successful or do they have any kind of reputation? Mm, from what I was reading with the comments, uh, they did have a lot of negative comments. Really? But at the same time, you know how there are campaigns that we've looked at where there are a lot of negative comments and the campaigner just ignores them while they launch their new campaign? Yeah. Here, I felt there was good customer support. You know, right. they were trying to solve these problems individually. We can open one of them up now. What um, kind of a problem do people have with their USB cable? Compatibility, I guess, or? I think somebody said they stopped working two months in. Mm. Uh, so the tech isn't quite there. So right um, now, did you? Or they haven't received theirs. This is, is two this campaigns ago. Two yeah. campaigns ago, OK. Uh, I haven't received my cable yet. I'm backer number 537. Uh, if your cable's broken, please. But see, look, they're responding, you know, to everyone. Right. If your cables were broken when you received them, please send us a photo. We'll send you a new one. Ooh, this looks painful. The mail portion broke off. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> my cable broke today. Very sad. Yeah, I barely used this cable and the mail part broke off. It snapped off in my iPhone. That's embarrassing. My cable broke today. So, yeah, people have had this problem. And I guess, you know, the other thing is... If you're saying yours is the world's toughest cable, people are really going to test that. You know, when they receive it, they're going to really not care. You think someone yeah, was yeah. pulling their car with one of these uh -huh. and it broke off. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, we got to say that they probably have thousands of people that backed it. I think they do have what, 673 backers on here. And out of that, there's it looks like a handful of people have said that it doesn't work. So the majority for the majority of people, it looks like it does work. Yes, yes. I got that impression as well. And... I also got the impression that exactly customer service was very attentive to their previous backers as well. Yeah. Going through the, uh, the, the current campaign, the one that we were looking at, it says uh, going through some of the frequently asked questions is, will it work with Oculus? A lot of people ask that question, and the answer is yes, it does. Will it work with Arpara? That's a, that's a good question. We just reviewed Arpara. If you want to check that out, you can find a link somewhere or just go onto our, uh, our channel and you'll find a video there. If we haven't yet, we will in the future. <laughs> it all depends on when we uh, put it On the magic of online. cinema. Uh, it also says, another frequently asked question is whether or not it's backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3. Which and, it is. Yeah, the answer is yes And USB-C as well, just regular USB-C. And that's because the interface is the same, right? The, mm -hmm. the part that actually goes in, the, the male to the female, I guess, is all the same, right? Yeah. But then again, I guess, you know, discs, PlayStation discs, the yeah. interface is the same, but... You know, PlayStation 5 isn't compatible with PlayStation 2, even yeah. though the interface is the same. And if you put a PlayStation 2 disc into a CD player, <laughs> it doesn't it's not going to play anything, right? Even though it looks the same. You can't listen to the soundtrack of Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, let's close it up, man. What do you think? And yeah. What are your impressions? What are your final thoughts on this one? Um, you know what? No, tell me. <laughs> That's a long, yeah, yeah. impregnated pause that you just gave. I'm waiting for something crazy. Um, I am not in the market for a new USB cable. No. But if I was, I'd consider this. You know, it doesn't seem that much more expensive. It yeah. seems like it's the next technology. The other thing is, 
I'm fairly careful with my USB cables. Uh, I'm not one of those people. Remember the iPhone headphones that would always break? People's headphones, the yeah. jack would always break. That was like a common meme. Okay. No? Um, I'm not that guy. All of my cables last for like 10 years and I'll still be using them. If I wasn't, if I was a little bit more messy with my cables, I'd definitely consider Horizon. Right. Right. So someone that takes care of their stuff, someone that's a little bit more proactive about, uh, you know, maintenance, this is not for them, you think. If you have a tangling problem, <laughs> yeah. if you, have if you desk, get tangled. Yeah, if you have a desk drawer full of just random cables, which, which yeah. I do, uh, this might be for you. For if me, your male parts keep falling off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I like this. I think that the price point is right when I compare it to what else is out there. Otherwise, tw I think 30 bucks, $39, $40, $40 for a cable seems like a bit steep. Um, but it's the going rate for uh, technology out there nowadays. Um, I do love how fast the transfer rate is, how effective it is. I would consider a product like this. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and if not, watch the video <laughs> twice more, and uh, like you'll be forced into buying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's the torture. Get get a little bit more of that music in you. you yeah. Know? Um, okay. So yeah. that was the nameless, fun <laughs> nameless. What was it called again? Horizon? No. The Horizon Cable. Uh, handlebar? No. Halo. Halo. Halo Band. Halo Band. Halo Band, Band the world's most powerful and toughest, toughest cable. cable. Yeah. This is tech I want. If you have problems with your cables, if yeah. you have... Or your mail parts falling off, <laughs> let us know have... in the comments down below. There you go. Until next time, this was Tech I Want. Bye-bye.